First of all, I'd like to let you know that I have uploaded a summarized version of this video and other ones that I will be uploading in the future on Amino. It's an app that allows you to share your interests with everyone online. Just look at this guy who made an entire video showing how he made Kung Lao's hat and Shinnok's amulet using very simple tools that you can find at home. If you're into all that stuff and more, simply download the app through the link provided in the description below and please don't forget to check out my page at GameLution. In today's video, we're gonna be exploring Coral's Colosseum, one of the most monumental places in Outworld and it's the stage where Shao Kahn himself was defeated at the hands of Kitana and her allies in MK11. From this day on, may all our peoples fight together as one. Looking at the background of this stage, I gotta say that there are a lot of things happening at the same time. The first of which is this gladiator riding in a chariot that you can see right now. Like in MKX, things usually disappear as soon as they're out of the player's point of view and we'll see more examples here in a minute. Going back to the center of the stage, there is a pit out of which different creatures come out and I'm sure you've noticed this while playing in the past. It didn't take very long until a huge headless dragon comes out and it simply eats a fallen outworld soldier and flies away with it and once again it disappears as soon as it's out of the player's view. Just when I was going to peek inside of the pit more creatures pop out and this time it's three big rats fighting for a piece of meat and they suddenly just run away. While I was zooming out to see where these rats went, Chronicus time merger kicks in and suddenly a small portion of the Colosseum turns back to Shao Kahn's era, with his face appearing on the flags and even the color of the walls change ever so slightly. Now there is one funny aspect about the whole time merger thing that I discovered when I tried to see how uh, the effect uh, in the walls were made. Just when you get close enough to the wall and look at it from a certain angle, you can actually see that it's simply a layer that was placed on the existing wall. I mean, you can see that the original colors of the Colosseum of the wall are still there. It's simply a new layer that is hiding it. I'm not really sure if you can see it right now, uh, I'm trying to give you the best possible angle here. In other words, it's all make-believe, guys. Who knew that Chronica was able to cheat us all the whole time by making us think that she really did rewind time. It's a lie, guys. In reality, all she did was only place a layer on the things that were already there. <laughs> what a disappointment, right? At long last, you see the pattern. Anyways, looking at the spectators, you can observe that they are just 2D textures that are duplicated throughout the arena. Right across from the players, there's a special seat, which I believe is where the Emperor sits, to witness all the fights, executions, and all the other interesting stuff that takes place regularly in Outworld. Talking about interesting stuff, right in front of His Excellency's seat, there are two pillars with two men hanging from it. These guys seem to have been brutally executed for whatever crime they had committed, but just look at them, I mean, this guy was mercilessly stabbed with these spears. I mean, the view, guys, it is very, very nasty. And what about this other guy? I mean, he didn't have any better luck either. Just look at his leg. Maybe it was chewed off by one of those Outworld monsters that we just saw. Who knows, I mean, these things uh, usually happen quite often in Outworld. Going inside of the Colosseum, I actually expected to find something, maybe some kind of a secret or an easter egg. But there is actually nothing, I even tried to get outside of it and as I expected uh, there was nothing here either. Therefore we're gonna go ahead and explore another arena, a bonus arena for this video. And right now we are arguably in the most beautiful stage in the game. If you didn't notice, I chose most of the thumbnails that I used for the intro dialogue videos that I made a couple of weeks ago, right here in this stage, the Shirai Ryu Fire Garden. I mean, just look at all these beautiful, colorful trees. Don't they look fantastic? Man, the view is also very beautiful. I really wish there was a place close to where I live where there was something as beautiful as this place is. Surprisingly enough, when I zoomed out to see more of this stage, I realized how small the arena really is. 
As soon as you cross the hill on either side of the stage, you just see some 2D textures and that is pretty much it. Probably the only thing that is worth taking a look at is this temple where there is nothing but a giant bell which I believe is used as a call for prayer. I'm not really sure, I don't know much about the Japanese culture, but uh, maybe if someone happens to know, you should post it down in the comment section below. But before I wrap up this episode, I want you to look at these fish. I was very curious and tried to go underwater to take a, a closer look at them, but as soon as I crossed the surface of the water, everything suddenly disappears. They just seem to be visible only when you look at them from above from outside of the water. I really wonder how this effect was made, but I'm not a developer, so who really cares? And with this, we can wrap up our exploration of this episode. Let me guys know which stage you'd like to see next. And I would also like to give special thanks to Codename Gamma, who made this tool for me to be able to produce all this free cam footage. Thank you very much, Code Gamma. Link to his channel will be provided in the description below, so please check it out. As usual, for more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Gamelution. Peace.